Hey everyone, so what do you do on a cold rainy day like today if not dreaming of uh, mountain bike upgrades? Well, in my case, I'm going to be looking at these uh, cheap old Shimano brakes that came on this 2020 revolver and see if they're any different than something like the Dior brakes. If you check out the specs of 2021 bikes, you're going to see that a lot of the builders will save costs by specking uh, lesser brakes. This MT500 brake set, which is a cheaper Shimano brake set, will be specced even on like mid-level carbon bikes. They usually come with this RT56 disc, even cheaper ones that only take resin pads. I assume the good old Dior it's already out of the price range in its latest iteration. The previous generation Dior's M6000 is right here and you see next to this MT501 actually on their website you're gonna see them both as part of that Dior series of products. The M6000 only comes with the M6000 calipers whereas the MT501 comes with both the calipers that I have here the MT500 and the more expensive four pot MT520s. And they're both different than the Dior launched with the 12 speed Grupo, the M6100 that I reviewed not too long ago. At the back of the master cylinder, you can see the MT501 made in Malaysia, in our oil as we're used to see. Uh, the M6000 obviously is gonna say M6000 made in Malaysia as well. But the shape of this master cylinder, it's identical for the two brakes. That is different than what the M6100 provides us, mostly because this one comes with iSpec EV versus the iSpec 2 bar clamp that the old generation Shimano's provided. From the front, you can see the two levers looking identical. I think they use the same lever. Uh, you have the same reach adjust using a hex key. There is no bite point adjustment on these Dior's whatsoever. And the only minor difference I would uh, note is the color of the Dior 6000 versus 501. This is a matte black versus a bit more of a sparkly gray. Same sparkly gray used here on the new Dior's M6100. However, this one should have the new or improved servo wave in the master cylinder. Both the older 6000 and 501 provide servo wave as well. All these brake levers can be used with either a BH90 or BH59 brake hose. However, the MT501 lever is the only one that uses the older BH59 for this MT500 cheaper brake set. Main difference between BH90 and BH59 is the actual inner diameter of the hose. The outside diameter of the hose is the same, so you can use the same olives. However, the insert would be specific. You see the silver one is for BH90, the 59 would be gold in different dimensions, so don't mix them up. And with the levers removed, you can see this extra hole on the M6000 and on M501, it says for J kit. I don't really know what that means, but uh, that's the only other difference that I notice. The bigger differences are here on the calipers, 6000 next to the 500. Otherwise, both of these made in Malaysia. They're both post mount calipers. They both use that cotter pin or split pin to retain the pads. However, you can see that the 500 is a slimmer caliper. Also, just by looking here from the top, you can see that you cannot really remove the brake pads from the top. So on this one, you have to remove the wheel before you can do that. And with the wheel removed, you would push the pads and remove them from the bottom. Different from all the other higher end brakes that uh, give you the ability to remove the pads from the top. And both calipers seem to use that 21 millimeter black piston. The black ones are made of resin. The higher end calipers use the white pistons made of ceramic. And in case you're wondering, the new Dior launch with a 12-speed drivetrain has a slightly different design, otherwise uses the same 21 millimeter piston and uses the same brake pads that the M6000 uses. I call the MT500 calipers slimmer and with that you expect to see a smaller brake pad. 
However, if you look at this carefully, you're gonna notice that the MT500 pad is a bit taller and it's almost as wide. So I would argue that the braking surface here on both these pads is identical. And interestingly, that could mean the same braking performance from these two brake sets. But the MT500 only takes this B01S resin pad, whereas the other design, not only that can take both metallic and resin pads, but it can take the fin version of them as well. So MT500 is resin only, no fans, but cheaper overall. And the ore, or the newest the ore, if you want resin or metallic, with or without fins. And obviously you would pick the new Dior M6100 if you care about the iSpec EV mount and the arguably improved servo wave for better modulation. On the scale, the MT500 is 276 grams of this front brake at about 20 grams for the rear brake. The M6000 is 10 grams less at 265 grams, a few grams lighter than the newest Dior's. So what should you do if you get a new bike with something like the MT500 brakes installed? At the minimum, I would say replace the disc with something better. This is an XT RT86, but even the SLX would do. If you want the bite and longevity of the metallic pads or ability to ride fin pads, just get the Dewar's M6000s or even the new M6100 that I reviewed not too long ago. And that's pretty much the end of my little video. Do you guys have any questions? Let me know below. If you found this useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, keep an eye on social media, and until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.